Yeah, time now to talk some track and field on the Sportsbank Zone. The 2024 Jamaican high school season is in full swing and has already created some buzz over the past two weekends. This Saturday, though, the ninth edition of the McKinley Wind Classic to be held at Calabar High School will be one of the attractions. The event, named in honor of past students and Olympic gold medalists Herbert McKinley and Arthur Wind, is set to attract an estimated 1,300 athletes. Mm, we are pleased to be joined in studio by a member of the organizing committee, David Miller, and a Calabar student athlete from St. Martin, Carlos Bryson, a 2023 Champs Class 3 1500 meter gold medalist. Gentlemen, welcome to the Sportsbank Zone. Thank you very much and thanks for having us. Yeah, David, let's start with you because, you know, in Jamaica, you have multiple track and field meets on any weekend. What is so special about this one, the McKinley Wynn Classic, that people should be so excited about? The, the McKinley Wynn Classic is named in honor of Herb McKinley and Arthur Wynn, and that alone speaks a lot. Then you have the backdrop of Calabar High School, which is one of the finest boys' institutions in Jamaica, where we have a fabulous sports complex for several sports, not only track and field, cricket, football, basketball, lacrosse, rugby. We have a wholesome set of activities going on at the school, different extracurricular activities, building the youth into young men. And Calabar is a brand 111 years old. There's a lot of history, a lot of history at 61 Rails Road, and it attracts people. This has attracted 1,300 athletes in about 45 schools to come out for track and field on Saturday, January 20th. Yeah, how are you going to manage um, so well, many teams and athletes in one day? I, I saw only, I think a day ago, the J3's president, Garth Gale, saying he's concerned about some of these development meets going too long. Yes, well, we have a good set of managers. Mm -hmm. We have strong security for the complex. We have a state-of-the-art um, online platform that manages the heats, manages the results, a high-power team to filter through with the results and get the, going, the events going one after the other. So it's non-stop action from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And on the field event side, we'll have discus, shot put, and long jump. We have some of the top officials, J3 accredited, to manage that process and to keep it going. There are two shot put rings at Calabar. There are two long jump pits at Calabar. So events will be going off simultaneously all through the day. For, for spectators, for field events, for track events, you have a full day and you will be enjoying it. Yeah, well, I want to hear from Carlos now. Carlos, you. you're from St. Martin. Why Calabar High School? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know really. What, what? Is my father, is my father and my coach from St. Martin really picked the choice for me? Yeah, but are you enjoying going to school there? Yeah, 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 it's, it's nice. I think it's one of the best choices I could have ever had, I, that I think. Right, and of course, what are you looking forward to for this meet that's coming up? It's a big meet. Have you participated in it before? Yes, I have. Right. Uh, uh, last year, 2023 McKinley Wintley, I ran the 400 and the 800 as well. Okay, and what are you looking forward to most this season, and how has preparation been for you? Uh, preparation is coming slowly and all right. Uh, we, we, I am getting there, um, but for the... McKinley win chat meet. Uh, I don't know if I'm running as yet, but I will get the confirmation from the coach tomorrow. Yeah. Um, David, you know, there is a thing where we've seen a number of overseas athletes now in the high school system in Jamaica. Um, only recently, a young lady um, from Edwin Allen, um, Carol Etienne, set a Dominican junior record 1170 in the 100 meters so a lot of them are doing well we've seen julian alfred 
um, here, um, athletes from as far as Africa, and you see that across a number of schools in Jamaica. But Carlos Bryson is the only um, non-Jamaican at Calabar High School, and that is surprising to me because Calabar High School is a, is a school that is contending to win champs, and the feeling now, if you are going to win, you need overseas talent. Well, you know, there are some objectives that we have that um, surpass winning in terms of the number of points at championships. Calabar High School was built for Jamaicans, for Jamaican boys. And we have always stuck to that mantra. We have always been encouraging that right throughout Jamaica. Our track and field program, football program, all extracurricular activities are focused on building Jamaican talent. So we invite boys to come visit our school. We encourage boys to come visit our school, to join our different programs and be academically sound. And we're focusing on, on Jamaicans. Carlos is an exception. His dad asked to come to, for him to come to Calabar, to come and visit Calabar, first of all. And when he saw the campus and met the teachers and the principal at the time, Mr. Korcher, he was won over. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'd facilitate, because we're about Jamaica building the talent throughout the region, yes. not just for Calabar, but for the region. But our primary focus is, is Jamaicans. Yeah. That's what we're, we're doing, notwithstanding the other teams are, are having, um, specifically bringing students to run for them. Um, that's not our objective. Well, you know, a lot of old boys, um, you being one of them, old boy that is, want to win. And so they'll say, maybe it is a case that we need to get in more overseas talent if, if we're going to be pushing for these titles, if we're going to contend with other teams who are at the top at this stage. I hear you, and I've heard the cry, but again, our focus is on us, on Jamaicans, and not just scoring the most points, but building a boy, a young Jamaican boy, into a top citizen of Jamaica, matriculating the boys into university level. That's our focus, a rounded individual that can be someone in our society. That's what Calabar is all about, and that's what we have always stuck by. Yeah. And that's our victory, that's yeah. our win. Yeah, Carlos, a great introduction for you at Champs last year, winning the Class 3 1500 meters. You, you step up with the semi-big boys now in, in Class 2. How much are you looking forward to that? Because it's always difficult for a first-year Class 2 athlete to repeat the type of success um, that they had in Class 3. So what are your goals and your targets in this first year of Class 2? Um, goals, are, my goals, my goals right now is like to just do my best at the um, champs 2024. But what the coach that I have, Errol Messias, he's a great coach, and he, as you know, like, he he like Bill Venson in Ferguson and Rivaldo, and he was in as if you know that Venson come from class three and his first year class two and broke the record. So Aaron Messias, and he's a great coach, and I think he he can make a, a student or athlete break the record this year, maybe. Are you yeah. going for the record? This year? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, let's see. <laughs> we'll see. How about Karifta? Because it's always tough, and we've seen a number of athletes um, who do well in the Jamaican high school system, and then you go to Karifta, and it can be tough physically and, and otherwise. You had that experience last year um, competing at Karifta Games. How much are you looking forward to the Karifta Games this time around? It's going to be in Grenada. And, and have the expectations for Karifta um, kind of gone up? Because in that category now, you will be a senior, the, the under-17s. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, really, because you know, I um, started at 13 years old. No, I'm 15 and I'm ready to like actually compete. So I'm looking forward to it and I just hope that this season can me through. Yeah, sounds good. Um, what sort of reception do you get in St. Martin? Um, because you, you won a Champs gold medal last year, which I suspect um, must have been a, a, a massive thing. Um, what was the reaction like there? 
the, the reaction then was crazy because like almost everybody just came to me and just congratulate me. And my parents and coaches, like almost everyone from St. Martin that I know. So you're a little superstar there. Yeah, you could say that, yes. What? <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, David, um, we, we, we leave the, the final word with you. Um, everybody would want me to ask this. Is Calabar going to win champs anytime soon? Of course we will. When? We will win champs very soon, sooner than you'll think. Oh, we're building well, you don't our team. Know what I think, David. <laughs> <laughs> we're building our team. We're building young boys into men. We're 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 building a team of disciplined young boys, and um, we're going to be right there. We're going to be right there sooner than than later. Yeah, quickly, you're pushing this thing. I notice about disciplined young boys. Is is there something about changing um, the image or what? individuals have perceived in the past to um, about boys from Calabar? And I think it's not just boys from Calabar. If you look across the society and the level of crime generally and the kind of boys coming out of the school, I mean, not, not to say anything um, derogatory or, or anything negative, but boys, we need as a site to lift our boys to be stronger and better. And um, we need them to be more of our professional sort. And we recognize that at Calabar, the need to, to mentor and to be there guiding the boys throughout. Um, there are so many instances of boys over the years falling by the wayside. And not only Calabar, it's right across our society. And we need as adults to play our part to change that little by little and to build those values into into the boys to have them get that sense of purpose and direction i think and um that's a big focus for us at calabar yeah you know that's a big focus for us it's not about sports totally it's about being someone in society that is credible mm -hmm. and can be looked upon yeah. yeah i wish ricardo was going to school now in this time where you're pushing that <laughs> too bad it's too late <laughs> Uh, Maria, I'll leave you with the last word. David, thanks very much. <laughs> Carlos, thanks very much. And all the best on the weekend. Let's take a break on the Sportsmax Zone. Maria will be here after the break, yeah, with Interactive. For sure.